In 2004, everyone in the healthcare category was saying the same thing. Blah, 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 blah. Everyone was talking about how well they can take care of you when you're sick. Campbell Ewald discovered that what made Kaiser Permanente different wasn't just its ability to take care of you when you're sick, but to help prevent you from getting sick in the first place. We tapped into a much larger and more powerful human truth, that people want to be as happy and healthy as they can be at every stage of life. Simple? Yes. But understanding that human desire helped both differentiate Kaiser Permanente from its competitors and stand for something to which everyone aspires. Other competitors stood for health care. With this campaign, Kaiser Permanente would stand for health, not just for its members, but for everyone. So Campbell Ewald changed the conversation and redefined the way people see health care by focusing on the balance of mind, body, and spirit. From the very beginning, our campaign told the world what Kaiser Permanente believes, that health isn't an industry, it's a cause. Come gather around people wherever you roam And admit that the waters around you have grown And accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone if your time to you is worth saving Then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone For the times they are changing By making health a cause, we went beyond creating an advertising campaign. We helped create a movement. Our goal was to leverage the Thrive message in a way that even non-members could experience and do it in a way that no one had done before. One way was to turn the produce section of an entire supermarket chain into a media opportunity. The broccoli tags featured an invitation on one side and a URL on the other that took consumers to a website that featured broccoli recipes and health tips. Kaiser Permanente has been a sponsor of the LA, the Beta Breakers, and the Portland Marathons. Research showed that prior to the event, all runners are energized, even those who have no desire to run a marathon. As a result, the sales of athletic shoes go up. So we partnered with sporting goods stores to place special tags on running shoes. On one side, we direct consumers to kp.org shoes, where they can learn how to take those first steps toward living a healthier life and who knows, maybe one day run a marathon. Another way to create a movement is by completely dominating the media environment. During the open enrollment period in San Francisco, we bought every single placement in the BART station. Forty-eight different messages were placed in 174 media locations on all three levels of the station. I gotta tell you this, this cracked me up. Friday night, I was going home on BART, got to the Montgomery station. It's going down the escalator, I hear this beautiful music, these wonderful voices and harmonies wafting up. And you know, there's always street musicians playing in the BART stations here in the city. But this was so beautiful that by the time I got uh, clear across the station to where they were, I had a dollar in my hand ready to put in their box. And I get there, and there's six of them, women and men, uh, dressed in kind of black berets and gray sweaters and black slacks. And there's a sign in front of their box that says, Keep your change. We're sponsored by Kaiser Permanente. Thrive. And so I put my crumpled up dollar back in my pocket, and I thought, how cool is that? thinking outside the box and much appreciated by the harried commuters that day. In the middle of Union Square, we ran this unique tri-vision board. In Sacramento, bus shelter boards suggested, don't just stand there, do something. To focus on the problem of childhood obesity, we extended the campaign to children and their parents with the message that it's never too early to start living a healthy life. In my younger days, I made lots of mistakes. I hung out with the wrong people. Got into some bad habits. I neglected my relationships. The drinking was the worst. Now more, I take better care of myself. Things are looking up. Kaiser Permanente. Thrive. From Ocean City, New Jersey, please welcome one of the cutest five-year-olds ever, Pete Wiggins! 
After seeing the commercial, Ellen DeGeneres invited our young actor onto her show, where another 2.3 million viewers heard the message. Hi, Pete. Hi. So, uh, we like your commercial. <laughs> it's kind of old hat to you. It's not that, that exciting, is it? No. No. <laughs> the Thrive campaign resonates with everyone at every stage of life. It also encourages women everywhere to live long and thrive. When I grow up, I want to be an old woman. When I grow up, I want to be an old woman. As the debate around health care reform continues, the Thrive Campaign will help lead the conversation around what health care will look like in the 21st century. By putting an end to paper medical records, we have ushered health into the digital age, saving lives, sometimes when seconds count managing chronic conditions, making amazing new discoveries, and, oh yes, saving a lot of trees. Kaiser Permanente. Thrive. We know technology can make you more connected, but now it can make you more connected to your doctor through email, test results from home, check records, change appointments, now, doctors, nurses, techs, pharmacists are all digitally connected to each other and ultimately connected to you. At Kaiser Permanente, we believe that if knowledge is power, shared knowledge is even more powerful. Kaiser Permanente. Thrive. The Thrive Campaign has helped Kaiser Permanente enroll 250,000 members since its launch. It's increased brand perception across a number of attributes that had, before the inception of the campaign, proved very difficult to move in a positive direction. The campaign has also galvanized an organization and given them an internal compass to guide everything from facility design to the language used in health education programs. One of the most powerful characteristics of the campaign is that it has reframed Kaiser Permanente and its coordinated care system in the minds of opinion leaders in the healthcare arena. The New York Times suggested Kaiser Permanente as a potential model for the future of healthcare in the United States. In an article in Time magazine, President Obama has singled out Kaiser Permanente as one of the models of high-quality, cost-efficient care that's out there right now, and praises it for the care they provided to his grandmother. Campbell Ewald has even garnered applause from formerly skeptical media, like the examiner's praise of communications that focus on KP's dedication to interaction between patient and physician. If you're looking for a booster shot of preventive healthcare inspiration that has become the hallmark of Kaiser Permanente's Thrive campaign, this spot delivers the same feel-good message that intends to serve the public while improving its perception of the healthcare maintenance organization at the same time. From the poster child of a maligned category to a nationally praised institution that offers a possible path to better health for all Americans, Campbell Ewald has revolutionized the perceptions and changed the conversation of a brand and a category.